India and China held a special round of military talks at the Chushul Moldu border in eastern Ladakh sector, to discuss airspace violations and provocations by the Chinese Air Force in the area in the last 45 days. The Indian military delegation has sternly told the Chinese side to not violate the airspace in the Ladakh region, and avoid any provocative activities. Meanwhile, the Chinese side have been complaining about the Indian Air Force upgrading its capability to detect Chinese aircraft operating in Tibet Autonomous Region. The Indian Air Force chief visited the facility of Hindustan Aeronautics in Bangalore yesterday, where he undertook a sortie on Tejas Mark I trainer, light combat helicopter and the HTT-40 trainer. The Indian Air Force is all set to place orders for 70 HTT-40 trainers and a large rudder for light combat helicopters. The Air Chief was also shown the first Tejas Mark II aircraft that is under assembly, and the Air Chief has asked HAL officials to fast-track the program, and also offered his full support to complete its developmental trials. There are also reports that the rollout of the first Tejas Mark II aircraft will happen by the end of this month. New Space Research and Technologies has developed a high-altitude multi-rotor drone, that has achieved a new milestone record for the maximum altitude of 25,000 feet, at maximum demonstrated range while carrying a useful payload. The Indian Army is looking to procure surveillance drones, which can operate in extreme weather conditions at high altitudes, that must have self-destruction mechanism in case of capture by enemy, and should be hardened against electromagnetic interference with anti-jamming and anti-spoofing properties. The CEO of BrahMos Aerospace had told Russia's TASS news agency, that the BrahMos 2 hypersonic missile will conduct its first test in 2025, and it would have same performance characteristics of the Russia's Mach 9 capable Zircon. Interestingly, the DRDO is already developing two long-range hypersonic cruise missiles under Project Vishnu, and a separate hypersonic glide missile program for a longer-range intercontinental hypersonic missile. It will be interesting to see if the DRDO can mature its hypersonic cruise missile technology first, or India will have to depend on Russia to buy scramjet engines for the BrahMos 2. Sri Lanka has requested China to defer the arrival of its spy ship, after India raised concerns over the real purpose of the voyage. The Yuan Wang-5 is a dual-use spy vessel, employed for space and satellite tracking, and with specific usage in intercontinental ballistic missile launches, and the vessel was supposed to come to Sri Lanka on the 11th of August and stay there till the 17th of August. The Indian Army conducted a pan-India exercise known as Skylight, to test and validate its entire satellite-based communication network to ensure operational readiness. The exercise involved all kinds of satellite communication from the Andaman and Nicobar Islands to Ladakh, and multiple satellite bands were used to communicate and transfer data. The exercise included static terminals, transportable vehicle-mounted terminals, man-portable and man pack terminals, and this exercise validated the protocols to switch completely to satellite-based communication in case of a conflict.